Hey everybody, this is Pastor Carrie here for your Keeping Connected video, and I know that it's the lay staff takeover, so you're probably wondering why I'm the one talking, but I want to introduce you to Renee Wise. She's our director at LAM, and many of you know her, but some of you don't. And so Renee's here to talk to us a little bit about what's been happening at LAM. So Renee, can you tell us what's been going on at LAM? I sure can, thanks Carrie. Well, since we closed on March 15th due to this coronavirus, our staff have been very busy cleaning the entire building, pulling everything out of classrooms right down to the last block and carpet and plastic toy has been cleaned and scrubbed and bleached and the rooms have been all reset up so that the kids can come back to a nice, clean, safe environment, which we are looking forward to very soon, hopefully. That's great, thank you. And I've seen, as we are in church, we're doing everything online now, children's Sunday school, adult Sunday school, adult education, um, worship, everything's online. And I've seen an increased presence of LAM online too. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on online? We started a LAM private Facebook page for staff and students and parents so that they can keep connected. So our teachers have been fantastic posting videos, reading stories to the children. Our VPK class teachers even did a Zoom meeting with their little four and five year olds, which was so cute. And that way we can let them know that we're still out there thinking about them and that we miss them. I know I as a parent find it very helpful. Um, and as, if being able to post just to simply get advice and to connect with the other parents is, um, is truly helpful. So thank you for that. Um, I, I also had a question about the LAM Advisory Council. So as with all the other parts of the church, LAM is, um, has a, co a committee that kind of functions with you, Renee, to kind of make processes and um, to help you as we run LAM. And so can you tell me a little bit about what they've been doing? Well, actually, they have been fantastic even before all of this started. We came up with a disaster policy, I think it was late last year, that clearly defined what we would do in the event of a disaster. And this is clearly a financial disaster and oh, man of many different sorts. <laughs> but um, they reassured us that the people enrolled at LAM would not have to pay tuition past a week that were closed and but the lamb staff was still able to get paid um which was fantastic and then we got the cares act the payroll protection act came through so we've been protected there we now have a task force started on how we are going to reopen lamb and what it's going to look like and what kind of precautions we have to take to make sure that everybody is in safe sally and phyllis have been a part of that, that Sally Gann and Phyllis Stabler, in case you need last names, um, are part of that task along with Sarah Hanna, who is one of our parents. And it's been very helpful. We have met and talked and sent emails. So hopefully we'll be heading that direction soon. That sounds excellent. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say to our church members in this crazy time? Oh, I would like to thank everybody. We can feel your prayers and support on the back half of all of this. We miss seeing everybody on campus and all the activities going on and the smiling faces to us. So hopefully we get to see you very soon and thank you for all your support. Yes, thank you so much church for supporting all that we're doing online and all that LAM is doing and will continue to doing, continue to do. Um, we just deeply appreciate all of you and I hope you're doing well and Stay safe and be healthy. Thanks, everybody.